might also know this species as the sandworm. No matter the name that it has, these are popular worm species that are used as bait. But it's also a cool little worm that happily lives in the waters of the world. For example, you can typically find them in the mudflats of various water types. They love nothing more than to burrow into the mud and make nice little tunnels for themselves. Thankfully, unlike many of the worms we've already seen, these are more tame in their eating habits. In fact, they're omnivores, which makes them capable of eating things like seaweed and microorganisms. But what might make them weird in your eyes is not exactly their looks or the fact that they're hunted in mass numbers for the fishing industry. Instead, it's their unique role in scientific research. These worms are used to measure the metal within other fish. As you hopefully know, humanity has heavily polluted the oceans, and that means that both metals and microplastics are contaminating it. By extension, they are contaminating the fish population. King ragworms are able to perfectly show the effects of metal on creatures, so they become a vital scientific tool in trying to clean up the oceans. Scientists analyze these worms to understand how metals accumulate in marine organisms, providing crucial data for environmental cleanup efforts. In the end, it's about whatever works to help us understand and mitigate the impacts of pollution on marine life. The humble king ragworm plays an unexpected yet essential role in this important work. So next time you hear about sandworms or king ragworms, Remember their significant contribution to science and the health of our oceans.